In this video, I will show you how to use render regions in Blender. And the main reason why I use render regions is to speed up the rendered viewport preview. So for an example, I've opened up my Mars Rover project files and I made a creation process video on how I made this Mars Rover. So if you'd like to check out that video, the link is in the description. But if I hold down the Z button and go up into the rendered view to preview this in the rendered mode, you can see it is taking a long time to load up the render viewport. You can see right up here on the samples, it is rendering pretty slow. Now I do have the denoising on, so over here on the sampling I do have the viewport denoising on, and so that does help to smooth out the image, but it is still taking a long time to render. And of course the speed of the render will depend on the power of your computer, but this scene is especially slow because it is pretty dense. I have this detailed Mars rover model, and then I also have a very high poly environment, and then also I added in this volume here in the environment to make the environment look more dusty and make it look more like Mars. But I can use the render region to speed up the viewport. So here in the camera view, I can press Control B and I can drag a box around the camera and then I can let go. In this way, it's only going to render a preview of what the camera can see. And this is already speeding up the viewport quite a bit. Now let's say that I'm also editing a certain part, like maybe I want to see the wheel or see the ground here. I can press Control B and I can drag a box around this area and let go. And you can see it's going to render much faster. You can see how quickly it rendered those 10 samples. And so this is super helpful if you're working on a really dense scene and you just want to preview a certain part and you want it to render faster. And then if you want to get rid of the render region you can press Control alt b But the other way to get rid of the render region is to go right up here on the output properties and you can just uncheck the render region button. Now what's also super helpful about this feature is if you want to do a test render of a certain area. So let's say that I just want to see this little area here. I can press Control b drag a box around that area, and then I can press F12 to render the scene and it's only going to render what was in the render region. Now in Blender Eevee, this feature doesn't work exactly the same. You can see if I press Control B, it's not just going to render what's in the box, it's going to render everything in the viewport. However, if you render the scene in Blender Eevee, it's only going to render what was in the render region. Now this render region doesn't just work in the camera, it also works just in the 3D viewport. So let's say I'm working on the wheels here, maybe I'm creating materials for the wheels, and I just want to see the wheels over on this view. I can press Control B, and I can drag a box around this area and let go and you can see that I can still move around in the viewport and it's just going to render what was in the box. And then of course you can press Control alt b to get rid of the render region. Or if you want to get rid of the render region in the 3D view, you can press the N key to open up the side panel and if you click on the view tab then you can uncheck the render region. Now there's also one other really useful feature about the render region. So I've rendered out this simple scene here, but let's say after I render this I realize that I want to duplicate this monkey head and add another monkey head right here. But maybe this scene took a long time to render, so I don't want to re-render everything. Well, what I can do is save this image, then I can render out another version of the image, but just with the render region, and then I can compile the two images together. So after I render this image, I'm just going to click here on image and save this image. And I'll just save this as render one and then save this image. So now what I can do is hit the escape key to go back to the viewport, and I can press control B, and I can drag a box around this area because this is the area that I want to re-render. So then I can select the monkey head, I can press shift D to duplicate it, kind of move it over here and kind of bring it back. Then what I can do is press F12 again and just render out this area. And then once this is finished rendering, I want to save this image, so I'll click on image and click on save as. And then this image I'm going to save as render 2, but with this image it's very important that I save the alpha transparency in the image so that we can add the two images on top of each other. So right here on the file format, I'm going to turn this to PNG, and I'm also going to click on the RGBA, and that's going to tell it to use the red, green, blue, and alpha channels in the image. So then I can click on save as image. And then in your 2D program, of choice, you can just drop in the first image. I'm using Krita, but you could also use GIMP or Photoshop. And then what I'm going to do is drag and drop the other image, the second image, into the scene, and I'm going to insert this as a new layer. And you can see that the other monkey head has been seamlessly added in. So here is the first image, and then here is the second image. And we save this out as a PNG file so it has a transparency. So then when I add the two render layers together, you're not able to tell that they're actually two different images. Now this may not work for every scene, 
because let's say that lighting was coming from this view, then this monkey head might cast a shadow into the rest of the image, and there also might be some bounce lighting on this other monkey head. So in that case, you would have to re-render the entire image, but if you just have a small little thing that you want to change, you can just render that out with the render region and add it into the scene. So that is how you use the render regions in Blender. The main reason that I use this is in the camera view, I can press Control B and drag a box around the camera, and it's only going to render what the camera can see. So I hope this video was helpful, and thank you for watching.